Hi everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the most popular game in the world, having been purchased some 200 million times on various platforms. Like many of the best games, it is simple on the surface, but has a surprising amount of depth with unlimited playtime. The limiting factor is often how you choose to play it, which sounds an awful a lot like life to me. This is the first five things you should start doing in Minecraft, otherwise it wouldn't be fun. Number one, which is everybody has a different experience and style. Some players are creative builders, some adventurers seeking dungeons and mine shafts, some create complex redstone machines, and some like running social experiments on servers. None of these are right, none are wrong. You will find your own style of play in life also, and if you're a master redstone builder, don't be upset that you aren't also a creative terrain builder. You have value and skills that are different from others. Comparing your style to others can be harmful if you do it in an unkind way to yourself. Draw inspiration, but don't copy. Provide ideas, but don't dictate. You'll be happier that way. Number two, produce, don't just consume. If you don't farm and curate your world, you'll find it harder to survive in it over time. As with real life, you are immersed in the world you create or help create with others. However, in real life, you can't create a new world as easily as clicking a button, but you can change what's there or where you base yourself and how you treat that environment. I spent far too much of my early career just consuming and it wasn't fulfilling. Now it feels like it's my time to build and whether you like my structures or not is less important than the act of building itself. At number three, be in it for the long game with continuous improvement. Popular streamer iBeaks Toy Cat just released his Let's Play World on the Microsoft Marketplace. It is the fruit of nearly a decade of play. It did not start that way. It started like any Minecraft seed would as a procedurally generated terrain with resources. It wasn't a perfect seed. Some things were difficult to procure, but over time, it has been transformed into an interesting world that represents his personality. Did he have a 10 year plan up front? Nope. Did he just keep at it incrementally improving? The evidence points to yes, the fruits of diligence are sweeter than the low hanging ones in my opinion. Number four. The world is better with some variety. There's no right way to play Minecraft, but the finest builders work with the environment to create irregular, idiosyncratic builds. Cubic sterile builds are just that. They do not inspire or leave an impression. Working with the environment rather than against it can be challenging but rewarding. However, sometimes it is better to level an area off and start from a blank slate. But the key is to know when to do the former or the latter. I see this a lot in the industry, people attempting to level out an area where working within the environment would seem to be the better choice or refusing to bite the bullet and do the groundwork required to start afresh. Number five, every action has an effect. Every block interaction you make in Minecraft permanently alters the world, no matter how small that change is. You can replace blocks, but you have altered the procedurally generated natural order permanently. Some things like floating sand cannot be placed back in the same way they were before, and you have to get used to that. Every interaction or change you make in the real world is the same. So do not underestimate your ability to change lives for the better or worse through careless or malicious action. You can try to put things back the way they were, but it's not always useful or effective to do so. Fix forward in life. You can't roll back, nor should you try to do so. The rest of what the Minecraft community are doing is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help me post more.